Hello everyone, my name is Mark, and this time I'm reacting to Paper Puppets Take 2, episode 12. Yeah, this episode was made by Yellow... Yellowing... Yellowing Gear, and this episode was released on the 12th of August. Well, I guess I'll react to it because, well... Why not? I hadn't reacted to it before, but I guess I'll react to it now. This just in. A Category 2 storm is heading into the east of the county, with the possibility of strong thunder and lightning. We advise viewers to stay inside until the storm's past. Boring! Is there anything else on? Oh, I know something that's on. A new player is joining the game, followed by a back-to-back -back elimination decided by oh. the contestants. Never mind, I'll stick to the weather. Been a while since I've used this. Yeah. For the last time, it's cereal then milk. Not milk, then cereal. Wait, where are we? Hey guys, today's the day one of the season one veterans will be joining the game. Okay, but why are we here? On the news, they said a thunderstorm was coming, so I didn't want any of you getting flooded down there. Oh, good! I couldn't stop all those leaks by myself! Yeah, whatever. Let's get the show on the road. Ha! Okay. Ah, that's the episode's title. No, it's not! We got a total of 4,825 votes. To get things started, mm -hmm. Toothbrush got the least votes and will not be joining the game. Aw, oh, man! Ha mm ha! -hmm. <laughs> More votes for me! I wouldn't say that. You only got 284. Yeah, it's considering that he this won. This has to last be some kind time. of joke. This is rigged, I tell you. The next ones out of the vote are Bag, Chip, and Mirror. Okay, it makes sense that I got more votes than Bag, but Mirror. What's, What's that, that supposed, supposed to mean? Uh. Now there's only three of you left. The votes were pretty close, so don't feel bad if you don't manage to get in today. This is so exciting. I haven't been this hyped in a long I time. See. Sorry, Shuriken. You'll have to save that energy for another day. You only got 895 votes. Fridge and Cup. One of you will be joining the game. Good luck, Cup. Right back at ya. Ooh. Cup, welcome to Paper Puppets Take Two. Yep. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No way. There's so much I want to say and do. Okay, let me start by saying... Yep, that's the new intro. And last but not least, I would like to thank- We get it, we get it! You don't have to keep rubbing it in! Oh, I wasn't trying to. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Cup. I could've done the exact same thing. This is your moment, dude. O okay, that's true, but it's someone else's moment, so now I don't like it. Well, that was fun. Cup, follow me upstairs. Everyone else, you gotta stay here because of the storm. But what are we gonna do? Don't worry. I've set up some activities for you guys to do. Even a game of cornhole! Let me see. Am I getting old or something? The world has changed a lot, my friend. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, nice to bad. see you too, Chainsaw. Okay, Cub, you can go ahead and join any of these teams. Your choice. Hmm... I think I'll go with this team. It's nice to see some old faces, and a new one too. Great to have you back, Cup. Well, unfortunately, one of them will be leaving the game. Right now. What? 
All right, so to reiterate, Team Bracket and Team H must each come to a unanimous decision and vote off one of the other players on either Team Question Mark or Team 47. So take some time to decide who you want out. So it's obvious who we're voting off, yeah? Yeah, this is an easy vote. We finally have our chance. Yeah, I know. It's treasure test, isn't it? All right, so who do you guys want to vote for? I know. Let's vote for Cop. We can't vote for him, idiot. But I think I have someone in mind. Huddle up, everyone. You guys made up your minds? Yup. We're voting for... Milk. What? What did I do? That kind of strength here is a serious threat in this game, so you gotta go. Aww, Poor this Milk. This isn't really the way I wanted to go out, but I had a lot of fun competing. Thank you, Bottle, for helping me feel more confident in myself. I see. Of course, Milk. I'm glad to see you taking your elimination well. See you on the other side. Okay, Team Bracket, you guys decide on who you want out? Sure have. That ah, just get it over with. I know you're picking- Bubble Wrap. What? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Getting you out now would be way too easy. I want to save you for later. That and Bubble Wrap is annoying and just a big baby. Doesn't deserve to be here anymore. Let's just get her out of here. What? No, you can't do this. Ukulele, we can't do anything about it now. But, um, here. I had been planning this for a while, in case I ever got out. I'm not good with goodbyes, so just read this when you can, all right? Okay. I'm rooting for you, Bottle. Thank you, Ukulele. For everything. Yeah, I see that. Ugh. Stupid video ad. Alright, time for phase two. Hey, ukulele! How are you holding up? Don't talk to me right now. Especially since you got bubble wrap out. Right, look. Even though she's gone, maybe now it's time to focus on your own game. How? By joining our team. Think about it. You need a change of scenery. Staying on that team, especially with those two on it, will drive you crazy. With the number of us dwindling down, can you really rely on them when they're always at each other's throats? Also, you can hang out with me. I can be your new gal pal. I mean, I guess so. Trust me, you're better off without him. What? You can't be serious! Alrighty, contestants, yeah. challenge time! Uh, Gold Ingot, how are we gonna do a challenge with the storm going on? Well, I was gonna have the contestants play some professional golf, but that's a no-go. How tragic. Alright, uh, how about instead you guys can play a little board game? I have some around here, uh, let's see. We got... Uh, Battle Dungeon Ultra? I've never heard of this one. That sounds really lame. Did you say Battle Dungeon Ultra? The single greatest tabletop RPG board game in the world? Silver, you play BDU too? Oh my gosh, it's the greatest game ever. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play it. I mean, since you're so experienced, Silver, you want to explain how it works? <gasps> Do I? Oh my gosh, I finally get to use all the campaigns I've written. Okay, so here's how it works. Each team will have to play through their own campaign, basically like a little story they have to do. Mm -hmm. Each player has their own character and you'll have to decide what to do when certain events occur using these dice. Every team will have their own goal to complete and I will judge each campaign on how effective or entertaining they were. And why do you get to judge? Because I'm the Dungeon Master, duh! I've written some character sheets for you all. I'll get them out and then we can begin. Deep within the overgrown Wait, shore. Wait, who the heck is saying that? Don't worry about it too much, okay? Anyway, deep within the overgrown swamp, we are met with the never-ending ocean of vines and thorns. No sign of any landmarks or an exit. A thin, lukewarm mist hits the marsh, adding to the murky maze our trio must traverse. Oh, cool. I'm a knight! Seriously? I'm right here, you know! Why do I have to be a peasant? Shh! Everyone, shut up! 
Let me talk. Taking inventory of what the trio have, the knight impulsively wields her trusty blade, so sharp it could cut through the very mist itself. She targets a mass of tangled vines, overgrown and unrelenting. Foot back and blade up, she cuts through the interlocking mess in one fell swoop. Unknown to these three, that will be the easiest obstacle they will face. Far beyond the overgrown swamp, the quaint and humble Norden village sits peacefully in the valley. Known for their hospitality and generosity, the townspeople are a welcoming it kind of community. Looks like the ninth, However, like our heroes the will be met century with a not-so-warm Wait, 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 wait. You gotta be kidding me. I'm the princess again? Why can't I be like a cool warrior or something? Kind of because what you have done. Anything but off. this. Fret not, fair maiden. Norton Village is just over yonder. <laughs> That's more like it. Unfortunately, the happy little village has been terrorized by the toughest crooks of the West. The sounds of screaming townsfolk flooded the cobbled roads. Shops now ransacked. Homes invaded, all caused by the worst criminal of them all, Mace the Merciless. A barbaric monster yearns for pure chaos and easy cash. He and his goons have stolen a precious artifact from the mayor, and it's up to our heroes to get it back. Sorry about that. Far into the uncle. north of the kingdom, the Citadel He's of Bones lay desolate in the long abandoned canyon. Extending like out that. from the stone, after numerous reports of objects never returning from the tomb, three brave heroes arrive to find out where they went. A wise scholar, equipped with his tome, uses an incantation on the Citadel's main gate, forcing it open. The cleric sets up a force field to protect the party from the potential threats that lay within, and the elf was... Hey! 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 Stop! Stop doing that! Oh! Sorry, my ears are all pointy and funny looking. <sighs> and the elf readied his bow, watching from behind. This triad is clueless as to what lies ahead. A labyrinth of stone passageways, some undiscovered by society, fill the tomb. They must be cautious with every step. The tombs are protected by well-hidden traps that could strike at any moment. Unfortunately... They're not alone in the tomb. The undead, misguided and lost, lurk within the narrow corridors, trying to find an escape, and possibly our heroes. And finally, in the south of the kingdom, two unlikely objects wake up in an unfamiliar place. The pungent stench of damp mildew overwhelms our heroes. With a single torch acting as their only source of light, the cave is overgrown with moss and fungi. No sign of light, and only the distant, echoing droplets of water can be heard in the darkness. The paladin readies his shield in a defensive stance as the alchemist pulls out two potions in case the duo is ambushed. They trudge into the unknown cavern in hopes of escape. Hmm, kind of interesting. The group finally locates the Crooks hangout spot, the local bar. Making their presence known, they kick- Wait, wait, wait! What? Princesses should not be kicking indoors. Uh, uh, why not? Are you kidding me? Sorry, your highness. Leave this to the rogues. <laughs> well, well, what do we have here? We know that you have something that belongs to the mayor. Oh, you mean this little number. Yeah, me and the boys were gonna make some fancy jewelry for the folks up north. We're gonna have a big fortune on our hands. The only thing that'll be in your hands are some cuffs when we're done with you. Oh yeah? You and what arms? Get them. Wait! Hold it! Oh, come on! Princesses can't fight. You gotta be more careful, Cup. Don't worry, it won't happen again. Whoops. 
Great going. There's no time. We have to fight. It's now or never. With the combined force of arrows and magic spells, the trio plowed their way through the wave of the undead. <laughs> oh, that's the last of them. Now, Cup, watch where you're stepping, okay? Don't worry, I gotcha. You gotta watch what Great. you're. Pressing. Yay! It wasn't me this time! But it was post it notes. Ah, there's no end to this. Keep going, Plasma Ball. I think I see some light up ahead. Dang it, these vines are getting stronger. We're gonna be trapped here forever. Finally, it's my time to shine. Caramel Cube, quick, use a spell to make the shovel bigger. Oh, all right. Well, that's big. On my count, three, two, one. Huh. Using their new weapon. The trio begins to pull away at the tougher vines. Not long after, they pull through one final bush and see an open field. We did it! Freedom! Oh, how I missed you! We were always on the ground, moron. Yeah. Completed? Okay. Our heroes at the Ye Old Tavern are neck and neck with the town crooks. They're fighting to the nail for that artifact, with only a miracle looking like the solution that- Whoa, 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 no! Come on! What am I <laughs> supposed to do? Maybe we don't have to fight at all. We could just give these little guys a big hug. Whoops. Oh no, my leg! If only I had someone to heal it! With the dwarf injured, his only hope is a sacred kiss from the princess to heal him. What? No! His only hope is a sacred kiss from the princess. All right, that's it! Chainsaw rips off his dress and reveals a flamethrower. What? What? Hey! You can't <laughs> just, just do this! Actually, I can. I rolled a 17, so that means I can deviate from my roll and not have to abide by historic accuracy. <sighs> Very well. Chainsaw grabs his flamethrower and sets one of the crooks in a furious blaze. The roaring fire makes the rest cower in fear. Chainsaw then grabs a rocket launcher from beneath his hat. What? What? No, what? That just doesn't make any sense. Oh, and, and now hold on there. It's still my turn. Chainsaw aims the rocket launcher towards Mace the Moron and shoots. <clears throat> and kills him. Man, I hate the ride. All right, now it's your turn. Uh, and with that, the group of heroes put Mace the Merciless and his gang behind bars once and for all. They have also successfully retrieved the artifact for the mayor. Oh, thank you, thank you. I was so worried about my son. Son? Uh. Whoa, where are we now? With the trio just barely escaping the swarm of enemies, they have accidentally fallen into the dragon's lair. D dragon The undead dragon has only been a folktale for centuries. People claim the undead dragon has magic powers to Holy. live forever. Others say it's the reason people go missing in the tombs. But no one has ever come close to encountering the undead dragon. Until now. Aww, I guess they were wrong. Mm -hmm. big Wait, where's Cop? Aww, poor little guy. He looks hungry, don't you think? Cop! Get back here! What on earth are you doing? Uh, here. 
you can have this. No! <laughs> I guess you could say we had a bone to pick with them. <laughs> we see our dynamic duo come to a split in the cave. So, which way should we go? Well, I'm going right. What? We should decide together. Then go left. I don't care. That's not fair. You have the torch. I don't think we should be splitting up anyway. Here. It'll be easier to cover more ground anyway. The alchemist makes his way down the path. His footsteps echo through the tunnel. Making sure not to lose track of where he's going, he drags his hand across the tunnel's wall. The wall is wet and covered with patches of moss. Ow! The old rock got the best of the alchemist. He stops to make sure he's not severely hurt and checks his hand to see. Huh? <laughs> you better keep your head up, journal, because without even knowing it, it can be lights out for you. Huh? Journal? What's wrong? Mr. Han Mr. Han Mr. Han Um, what? Journal? Is, is everything okay? Dude, it's a board game! Journal, wait! Journal, you need to tell me what's going on right now. You don't get it. It's Mr. Hand again. He's coming. Mr. Hand, you seriously still believe that? That's the thing. No one believes me, even though I know what I'm talking about. So the way you've been acting, was it all because of Mr. Hand? Not because of me? Are you kidding me? Why does everything have to revolve around you, treasure chest? You shouldn't even be here anyway! You're just something else I have to deal with. I'm here because I care about the team. You're all I have left, and even if you're still mad at me because of Malachite's elimination, I want you to stop acting like this! It's worrying everyone! Look, just... just come back to the office with me. We can finish this challenge and be done with it, okay? So, Journal doesn't want to play anymore. Where is Journal? Honestly, I don't know. Um, well, unfortunately, according to the rules of the game, if a player stops without fully finishing the campaign, the team is automatically disqualified. So that pretty much means Team 47 is up for elimination. Sorry. But, but <laughs> You know what, fine. No sense in arguing anymore. We're playing a kid's board game here. When did it get so serious? Uh. Viewers, using the Google Forms in the description below, vote for which contestant on Team 47 deserves a prize and who deserves to be eliminated. Mm, okay. So, yeah. I guess I'll choose treasure chest to be eliminated. Submit. And I will choose journal to win the prize. To be honest with you, it's just two people elimination. Yeah, I can tell by that.
Yeah! Take that, Melonhead! Ugh, that's the 26th time I've lost! Can we please play something else? This game is so stupid! <gasps> How dare you! What? Hey, wait! Let me back in! I'm sorry! Cornel's great! Let me in now! It's... it's cold out here. Yeah, well anyways, bye guys.